Evolution is the development or gradual change of a system over a certain amount of time. This process is slow, taking a few million years to complete. This is where humans came from, starting as four-legged beings and ending as non-leg-using beings. Of course, our roots reach back a lot further than that, and in order to talk about the entire evolution of man, we would have to climb up an entire family tree until we arrive in our time. But for now, we're only going to focus on one particular branch of this tree, starting around 66 million years ago with the Cretaceous Tertiary Extinction, or, in other words, the extinction of the dinosaurs. There were only a few survivors of the Cretaceous Tertiary Extinction, most of them being mammals. They continue to evolve into other living things, and about 60 million years ago, our first ancestor came to be. It is believed to share similarity with modern shrews and counts as an ancestor of modern primates. A primate is a mammal of the order primates, which includes the anthropoids and prosimians characterized by refined development of the hands and feet, a shortened snout and a large brain. These beings went on to become primates similar to modern lemurs, lorises, tarsiers and monkeys around 40 million years ago. It then took another 20 million years until our next ancestor came to be, the Dryopithecus. Now this guy might look a little bit like a chimpanzee, but he's not. He's actually an ancestor of all kinds of apes that live today. An ape is any of various large, tailless, old-world primates of the family Pongidae, including the chimpanzee, gorilla, gibbon, and orangutan. Then, around 16 million years ago, the gibbon diverged. Next, evolution took another step and around 12 million years ago, the orangutan diverged. After that, the gorilla diverged around 8 million years ago. Now the next step is argued over a lot because this is where either the chimpanzee or the hominin came first. Some people think the chimp came first and the hominin diverged from him. Others say that both diverged from the same ancestor. I personally think the second theory sounds more reasonable. The hominins are believed to have diverged around 6 million years ago, and we think the chimpanzee came around 3 million years ago together with the bonobo. What differentiates a hominin from apes is its higher intelligence due to a significantly larger brain and the ability to walk upright. Hominin evolution is the next step to becoming modern humans. But I'm not going to go into too much detail about this, and I'm just going to say how they evolved. They started with Artipithecus ramidus, continuing with Australopithecus afarensis, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Homo neanderthalis, and eventually ended with us, Homo sapiens, or anatomically modern humans. In other words, members of the genus Homo, and especially of the species Homo sapiens. Or let's just say, people. So much for the past, but what about the future? How will we evolve? Only time will tell. Django! Django, have you always been alone? Django! Django, have you never Now your love has gone away Whilst you loved her